Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Um, let me raise a couple of, of issues. This committee has been frustrated in obtaining documents and other information from the Department concerning the Benghazi terrorist attacks. Of course, our investigation predates your tenure, so I am hopeful we will be able to resolve this as you get your team in place so that we can move forward on this important issue. I would also like to call your attention to the State Department's Inspector General's Office. This is the key independent office looking at waste and fraud. Mr. Secretary, as of today, there has been no permanent State Department Inspector General for over five years. This includes President Obama's entire first term. The Committee raised this issue in a bipartisan letter sent to you in February, and uh, we would like to see an immediate appointment to this position. On North Korea, as you, you know my views on this, but uh, the United States uh, administrations, past administrations, have tried to offer North Korea aid. We have offered over a billion dollars or sanctions relief for nuclear commitments. Administrations from both parties have been embarrassed when the regime tore up those agreements. Former Secretary of Defense Gates was fond of saying, I am tired of buying the same horse twice. My concern is that the administration may be thinking of doing just that. And I would just ask, how is this different, uh, this approach to North Korea, from the past attempts to offer aid in exchange for a change in policy which never came? Uh, great questions all, and all deserve a straight answer, and I will give it to you. On the IG, you are absolutely correct. Uh, we are we're trying to fill a number of positions right now, the IG among them. The greatest difficulty I am finding now that I am on the other side of the fence is, frankly, the vetting process. And uh, I have got some folks that I selected way back in uh, February when I first came in, and we are now April, and I am still waiting for the vetting to move. I have talked to the White House. They are totally on board. They are trying to get it moved. So I hope that uh, within a very short span of time you are going to see these slots filled. Uh, they need to be, and, and that is just the bottom line. It is important, and I commit to you we will. Now, I think this is the longest gap that we have had in the history of, of this position. So if you could talk to the President about this uh, in short order, we would I, very I, much appreciate I'm just, it. I don't need to talk to the President. We are going to get this done. Okay. We, we know it, and we are trying to get the right people. Matching person to task and also clearing all the other hurdles is, I am finding, not as easy as one always thinks, but we will get it done. On the subject of Benghazi, um, look, I, I'm, I was on the other side of the podium the day us uh, just a short time ago when that was a big issue and we held hearings in the Foreign Relations Committee in the Senate and we wanted materials and we got a lot. In fairness, I think the administration has testified eight times, has briefed 20 times. Secretary Clinton spent five hours answering questions before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. 25,000 documents have already been turned over. Video of the actual event has been made available to members to see. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I urge you to see it because it is enormously uh, helpful in understanding the flow of events and what happened. And the people who were involved have all been interviewed, and not only interviewed, but those FBI interviews were made part of the record and in an unprecedented way have been made available to uh, the Congress in order to read verbatim those, those testimonies. So uh, if you have additional questions or you, you think there is some document that somehow you, you need, I will work with you to try to get it and see if we can provide that to you. Yeah, but I, yeah, I have to just disagree for a minute. Uh, instead of handing over copies of the documents and records that we have requested, as has always been customary practice in the past, the Department has insisted that the committee staff sift through thousands of pages of materials in a room in which they are monitored by the Department, and they can't remove any or make electronic copies of those documents. Mr. Secretary, these are unclassified documents that relate to the critical issue of embassy security 
and the department is literally spending thousands of taxpayers' dollars a week to slow the progress of the committee's review. So this has resulted in a great deal of wasted time and money. I think it runs contrary to the administration's promise of increased transparency. And I hope you will reconsider the Department's position on this issue. Well, I didn't know there was a position that does what you are describing. Thank you, there Mr. Secretary. There is certainly Secretary. no position by me to delay anything. And I was not aware that, uh, now, if there is anything that is appropriate to turn over, what I want to check, Mr. Chairman, is what uh, there is the historical precedent with respect to investigative document, FBI document, which we don't control. I just want to find out what the story is on that. I will work with you. And you'll have me up here again. And if I haven't worked with you, I'm sure I'll know about it. So uh, I promise you, we'll work together to try to do that.